So I also want to talk about this, and this was a study done over, I believe, in France where animals were fed GMO corn, genetically altered corn, and they started developing tumors and cysts and all types of things all over their body. So we're still dealing with the same anti-GMO propaganda that we have for years. In that video, he's referring to the Seralini study, a famously debunked, terrible study. The, the publication was withdrawn from the original journal that published it because it, the science was you know, utterly flawed. Uh, they, they used, for example, a strain of rats that tends to develop a lot of tumors anyway. Look up you know, science-based medicine, Seralini. You'll see a thorough takedown of this research. It doesn't show that there's any health risk to GMOs. In fact, in the last 25 plus years, we now have billions, trillions of individual animals being fed GMO crops. They've been you know, reviewed, studied. There's no health effect, none. There is no study showing that, health, that any GMO specifically or GMOs in general that the technology represents any kind of health risk. In fact, GMO cultivars are very well studied before they're allowed to be on the market. They're shown to be safe more so than non-GMO cultivars, uh, which sometimes they do have, they do can have toxins or negative effects in them. So um, the, the video also refers to a propaganda documentary, uh, GMOs Revealed. Uh, again, this is just straight up propaganda. Uh, it's not a balanced, it's not journalistic, you know, a review of this topic. They basically just interview a bunch of fringe people, the usual suspects like the, the food babe and Vandana Shiva and others spouting their anti-GMO propaganda, totally on the fringe. The mainstream scientific opinion is that the technology is safe as long as it's studied and used properly, that by the time any cultivar gets to uh, into the food system. It's been absolutely shown to be safe. There's no particular reason to think that just because we're, we're silencing or altering or even inserting genes that that represents any kind of unique you know, health risk uh, to people. And it's, you know, it's safer than some other technologies which are used to, you know, to create to new crops and new cultivars. So you know, you, the one thing I agree with is that you should you know, do your research in that look for reliable sources, you know, scientific, mainstream scientific sources on GMOs. The technology is safe, the products are safe. Don't listen to the fear-mongering propaganda.